Hello everyone, this is Adam Stewart from stewartmedicine.com. I'm here today to show you a tip on prescription favorites, and it can be a huge time saver if you're not aware of it already in your daily practice. So jumping right into it, um, you can basically turn any prescription into a prescription favorite. So I'm just gonna take a simple example to start and bring up the prescription writer, and we're gonna try amlodipine. We start typing that in, and we get our list of options. Um, I've shown in previous videos how I suggest not using the tablet strike. So let's just go with, let's even just go with up, up picking something up the chain and doing a kind of free text format that, that many people are used to. Five milligrams daily, and I always put on the label what it's for, so it's printed off on the label for the patient. And uh, 30 days with a refill. So, and let's say I'm, I prescribe that. Now, any medication that you've ever prescribed can be turned into a prescription favorite by simply, if, if you, if you do, do that the once and you want to say, oh geez, I, I think I write that all the time, I want to turn that into a favorite. So if you click, double click on the medication and it's already been prescribed, there's a button right here, add prescription to favorites. So if I click that, it asks us for a shortcut. Um, it defaults to the first four letters of the drug name. So in this case, AMLO for amlodipine. That's often the nomenclature that I would suggest using because it's it's easy to remember if you if you use that frequently. However, sometimes uh, if you have different doses or different types of things, you might want to change the dose. For example, I use uh, HC1 for uh, hydrocortisone cream, one percent. Um, but let's just keep it simple for now. We'll just keep with the amlodipine, um, uh, AMLO. One other option could be just so you know, is sometimes people might write AMLO5 for, because this is a five milligram dose, or if it was a 10 milligram, you might make it AMLO10, just, just as a quick little um, differentiator there. But for now, we'll just keep it simple, AMLO. The next thing that it'll ask us is if we want to add this to my list only of favorites or to clinic favorites. So think of the favorites as being organized in terms of global clinic favorites, uh, which everyone would be using. So everyone who enters the shortcut AMLO would be using uh, that same favorite. I often recommend keeping the favorites to personal only, my list only, and that way it can be user specific because the way I write a prescription uh, with the little little nuances or details might be different from Dr. B who wants to, who writes it a little bit differently. So everyone, um, so that everyone's not using the same uh, four letters for their, for their, um, for their short forms, for their, for the favorites. It doesn't get, uh, the favorites won't get overwritten, for example. So keep it to my favorites. You can actually switch these back and forth. I'll show you in the preferences later on. So that is now a, a favorite. So I'm going to go to a different fake patient chart, for example. Again, fake patient, not a real, not real data. Now let's say this patient came in and I wanted to prescribe that amlodipine for as a as a drug. So I bring up my prescription, and now that it's saved as a favorite, if I just type those first four letters, AMLO, and I press tab. What happens is it remembers that exact same way that I just typed it. So there's no more typing, it's all set up, 30 days, one refill. You notice that even though the favorite was saved as this, you can go and edit it. For example, uh, 14 days, 100 days, or you know, changing the, um, the number of refills, or even changing the dose if you really wanted to. So you can change the dose, sorry, 2.5. Uh, in that. So it, it still saves a lot of keystrokes, even if you only had amlodipine saved as a five milligram, it can save a lot of keystrokes. So then you could easily just post it into that patient and, uh, and they have it there. Um, I just want to, I'm going to elaborate this a little bit and show you if you wanted to save the prescription as a, a more detailed prescription. So let's delete that.
And if actually, if we, here's a little, if we actually delete it over there, it'll, it'll clear the chart. Now, let's, let's try um, amlodipine 10 milligrams, and we'll save it as something different here in, in the more detailed format. So I'm going to start writing, oh, one other thing. Notice that if I can't quite remember the shortcut name, if I, if even if I start typing the name, I'm going to start seeing it if um, up in the top of the options, favorite prescription options. So we can already see that you don't have to remember the name as long as you kind of remember the drug name or something. It, the, the system is smart enough to still bring up your favorites and show you that it might involve that drug name. So uh, keeping in mind again, if I type exactly the four letters AMLO, it will and press tab. It's going to specifically shortcut immediately to the favorite save prescription. But here uh, it gives me an option to even double click that if I wanted to. Um, but let's try it a little differently. Let's let's try and going into the we're going to the branched option here. We'll pick this kind of default setting. And again, I always like to put that in the label instructions. What it's for. So ten. This time we have a detailed prescription. One ten milligrams daily. Um, and this is the more structured format, as I talked about in a previous video. And it it will save it the exact same way. You can do tablets or or, or days. And if I post now, post that one, I can now save it as, uh, double click this and save it as a, as a favorite as well. I've already saved amlodipine, uh, the AMLO, but let's, let's, so that I might want to call this AMLO 10. And again, I'm going to choose it as my own favorite prescriptions. So, if I ever want to prescribe that again, uh, amlodipine again, just for a hypothetical example, again, you'll start seeing, when you type in the drug name, you'll start seeing, uh, you know, some prescription favorites and seeing your five milligrams or your 10 milligrams. So you can pick them easily from that pick list there. Now, it used to be that this was the only way to add medications as prescription favorites was right from a patient's chart and adding them like, like I've shown you. However, uh, you can edit these right from your preferences section. So um, okay. control O brings up your dashboard as a shortcut, just for those who don't know. And we go into settings and preferences. It will prompt us for our password. And you'll see down here, prescription favorites. Now, it's going to load all the options here that I have in my uh, EMR here, and you'll see a whole long list that's organized in alphabetic order. So you'll see a whole long list of, of different drug names. Uh, you can see we use this feature a lot. Um, a lot of these are my own personal uh, favorites. You can see that some have been saved to clinic favorites um, for different reasons. Some of our encounter assistants and things work off the, the clinic-wide favorite prescriptions, like Torvastatin 10, 20, 30. We have the different doses there. Um, hydrocortisone cream, lots of antibiotic starting doses. Um, so again, this is just a huge time saver. If you wanted to add a prescription or even edit a prescription favorite right from here, so let's say we entered um, the amlodipines here. Here they are right here, the ones we just entered. But we wanted to change this though, this one here to say, uh, say 2.5 was our start. We wanted it to be that be the favorite. So I can go in right in down here and, and edit it right in here and save it. Alternatively, you can uh, duplicate it and, 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 and make, make copies of it. Um, you can also, here's an option to change it for the, uh, to clinic favorite as opposed to the personal favorite that it is personally, currently saved as. Um, so lots of options in there. And the other thing is if from this prescription writer, you can, if you, made a mistake on something and you want to delete it, you can actually remove a favorite, start over, or just remove it totally. Um, or you can even just add a new prescription favorite right from this. Instead of going into a patient chart and choosing them from the options um, that are already written, you can start fresh without actually having, having written a prescription. So that's about it for favorites. Um, again, take advantage of it. Uh, if you've ever done a prescription and you know you're going to write that prescription again or you write it frequently, um, just consider saving it as a favorite. 
It's especially useful as the, for the starting doses. Um, for example, sometimes you might want to write a prescription for um, um, the uh, say metformin, 250 milligrams for two weeks. Let's see here, just as an example, the titrating doses. Then 500 milligrams. So you could save something like that as a favorite so you didn't have to write that all the time all over again. You could call it metformin starting favorite or whatever you want to name it. Um, another common one I use is the prednisone tapered dose and I call it pred IV. I just remember that's what it because I've used it all the time for prednisone uh, poison IV. Um, so if I, I just remember pred IV and if I press tab it automatically fills this in as my default and I, and, I, and I post it and I'm off to the races. So, hope you found that useful. Um, thank you for watching.